We're going to look at sourcing with the same layers as we discussed earlier on. At the baseline, at the center, you have prices. You see it here, a grid, three suppliers, three different prices that were submitted, the total price. LKMRO is the cheapest with his 57,000 offering here. But then there are other concepts, the extra cost. Let's look at that. Here you see within those prices, you had shipping cost that was included. And this shipping cost might, in this example, it's very low, but it could have a big impact. So you need formulas to bring those two together or many others together, where you put that formula to calculate the total cost that is of this offer. Now, the next layer of information is more the qualitative data. So we're going to look here at scoring. Where's your uh, closest delivery to Ireland? So we have a table of countries. Those were our selection. And depending on where the supplier provides his answer, we will give a score. This is just an example on how this works. So we don't need to manually analyze the result. We can just let the system apply the score that we prepared beforehand. And we gave an overall value of 30% for that question. This is all mathematics, basically. And you see now the same answers, but in scores. So you see that that very, that very cheap offer from LKMRO is actually not so bad because he's a bit better than the very worst one. Yeah? So those are different ways to look at the data to find the best offer. So maybe in some cases, some of the questions, we don't have an example here, would need to be sent to reviewers. And it's also included into the system to have grades. And they can manually put a grade in there, an engineering drawing, for example. And all this is governed at the end by scenarios. And the scenarios is really running the music, trying to figure out what's the best offer. The cheapest here is 56 with two suppliers. If I take one supplier, it's 57, and the difference is about 700 euros. To have only one supplier, maybe that's worth it, to have one single relationship. What about the best quality? Well, quality is expensive. I see it here. This kind of information is used. And once you've decided, you award, and from one click of a button, it will move to contract by the system. So th those were the layers of functionalities covered by our application. Other things that we do is if we look at the suppliers that were invited, there were only three here, they can have multiple contacts, they can have companies, we support companies and sub-companies. But if that's not enough, you can always go to the entire network. I can make a posting a little bit like when you post inside a journal an open question. I need suppliers somewhere or in a specific region. And this will send or notify the valid suppliers that will provide you feedback. Yes, hey, I exist, I'm interested. And then you can invite them. Now we're looking at the planning phase. This is the pipeline tracking where you put at the beginning of the year the categories that you want to track. And then throughout the process, you can see what was planned, negotiated, and then executed. You see here the savings that were really realized so that you really deliver on the promises or you can check if it was delivered. And so this planning is really what drives your procurement. And at the end here, we're going to look back at the dashboard where this is all brought back together in reporting. And it's not only about the projects themselves, but also about your staff, uh, how many tasks do they have, how quickly they are, what's their efficiency, what is the efficiency of their results, and all this ties together to give you top-class sourcing.